हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एम एग्जाम्स दिस इज़ माय थर्ड वीडियो ऑन प्यूरीफायर्स इन माय लास्ट टू वीडियोस वी हैव कवर्ड बेसिक्स बेसिक वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द प्यूरीफायर एंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बाउल दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू कवर द वर्टिकल एंड दॉरिजोंटल शाफ्ट एंड एट देंड विल सी दोटर करेक्टरिस्टिक्स so friends before i begin with the video do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends to maintain this chain of sharing knowledge now let's begin with this video so the revolution speed of the vertical shaft is increased by the horizontal shaft pinion gears and the vertical shaft rotates the bowl which is mounted on the top of it the vertical shaft and the bowls are supported by the upper spring and the leaf spring radially which ha which has incorporated uh, which are incorporated six points on the upper bearing sections and lower spring in the lower bearing section so that they can uh, rotate stably so basically this has lower bearing uh, in the lower part and basically two bearings are there over here and one bearing on the upper part with the uh, one flat spring and uh, six upper springs which are placed uh, uh, equ equidistant horizontally and this is the place which is tapered one where the bowl is fitted this is the pinion gear where this horizontal shaft is meshed to rotate this vertical shaft this is the list of uh, all the components or the parts which are there in the vertical shaft so uh, you can have a look cuz it's uh, of no it's of no use uh, me telling each and every parts of this vertical shaft now let's uh, come on to this horizontal shaft between the motor and the horizontal shaft the friction clutch is provided as you can see over here the horizontal shaft is supported by two ball bearings one is this one and other is this one over here between them is the spiral gear mounted this is the spiral gear which gets which gets uh, meshed with the pinion of the vertical shaft as i have told you in the last slides the bearing housing 3 and 4 are provided with oil seals to avoid gear oil leakage so these uh, or these covers are provided with seals over this cover this one this is the oil seal and over here also this over here so two oil seals are provided on each side to prevent the leakage of uh, gear case oil the horizontal shaft are directly coupled with the uh, gear pump by the safety joint but it is not there on uh, all the ships because uh, mostly on on the ships which uh, which i have sailed i have uh, seen separate supply pumps for uh, each purifiers which can be uh, interchange or uh, one pump can be used for both the purifiers so again this is a this is a this is the exploded view of the horizontal shaft with all the component and their part list so if you want you can uh, go through all the parts now the other important thing which is there in the horizontal shaft is the brake so by springs the brake linings are pressed against the outer surface of the friction pulley to perform braking and this uh, braking is performed only in case of emergency so uh mostly people uh, this surveyor asked question why this brake is provided so according to manual it is only used in emergency when there is some kind of, uh, some kind of very heavy vibrations but uh, most of the uh, teachers uh, have told me that uh, it is for avoiding critical speed also so i i don't know but it is not given in the manual so uh, th we can see this diagram this is the brake lining for the brakes 
uh, which is mounted on the uh, this mechanism for releasing this brake this is a friction pulley on which this brake lining uh, get uh, get pushed by the spring and it stops the purifier as you can see in this diagram then we have a friction clutch which is uh, also mounted on the horizontal shaft this friction clutch is used for gentle starting and acceleration thereby preventing the motor from being overloaded so this is provided so that motor doesn't get overloaded in the starting the motor shaft has a friction boss this is the friction boss which is connected to the motor shaft directly by the key and uh, which is provided uh, with with a friction clutch this is these are the friction clutch this boss so this friction clutch are mounted on these slots a uh, number of friction clutch uh, required for the particular purifier uh, are different and it, ha it has to be seen from the manual while uh, replacing it after starting the motor instant instantaneously turns at critical speed or in manual it is written critical speed but mostly it is rated speed the friction clutch lining is pressed against the internal surface of the friction pulley by the centrifugal force so as the motor rotates because of the centrifugal force these friction clutch they are uh, pressed against this friction pulley from inside and uh, the power is transmitted to the friction pulley which is mounted on the horizontal shaft as the friction pulley and the lining slips with each other normally the bowel of a small size purifier reaches its rated rpm uh, in 5 minutes and middle size and large size in 10 minutes so uh, the rated rpm is achieved in 5 and 10 minutes depending upon the size of the purifier now let's see this uh, motor characteristic curve which is there which is very important actually I will say because uh, this uh, helps in monitoring whether the purifier is starting stopping uh, and uh, desludge operation is correct or not so this uh, motor power is transmitted by the friction clutch to the horizontal shaft so as to mitigate the starting load as we have also seen in the last slide when the motor is started it is immediately reaches this rated rpm see I, I told you it is rated rpm so in one of the uh, in the last slide it should be rated rpm and gradually accelerates the power by friction clutch during this while the rated motor power is uh, exceeded therefore this uh, motor endures an overload um, uh, motor enduring an overload is used in this type of motor so basically these are the, these are special motors in which uh, this uh, overload for suppose if motor is loaded for 25 percent then it can handle that load for 30 minutes and if the if load is overloaded by 50 percent then it can handle it for 15 minutes and if it is loaded overloaded by 75 percent then again it, it can handle that for five minutes and it, if it is 100 percent uh, overloaded then it can handle that load for just one minute now let's see this graph which is provided in detail so as this purifier is started from over here uh, this is the this curve is the motor curve this one so motor starts and it reaches a stable rpm so this is the revolution of the motor but this uh, uh, bowel rpm it exceeds slowly slowly in uh, over till here and after that it is stable in that condition the current this dotted line over here this dotted line it is showing the rated current of the motor and uh, this this line over here is the starting current of the motor so uh, this uh, uh, when this uh, motor when the purifier started the starting current of the motor it goes up and when sorry it uh, it goes up then slowly as the uh, bowel rpm becomes stable over here then at this point it uh, again comes to comes below the rated rpm when the bowel rpm is reached then after that 
when feed is given in th at that point it increases a little bit as we can see over here when feed is supplied then again it is uh, again uh, uh, comes down when feed gets stabilized and it uh, it this uh, current value again increases so first it decreases little bit when feed is stopped for desludge operation and then increases after the desludge operation is done and purifier uh, increases rpm for uh, reoperation in that case the motor speed is uh, also decreased because of loss of momentum similarly for the bowel rpm also the bowel rpm also uh, is decreased during the, uh, the time of desludge operation so this is the cycle which is uh, represented by this graph and it is very important to understand this graph because this helps to detect the or troubleshoot the uh, problem with the purifier and it is very important so thank you friends uh, in the last in the next video i'll try to cover the line diagram of the purifier for purification of fuel oil and the lube oil so till then take care and have fun